What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. Remember, before I get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with you, Darvish, who had three strikeouts in five innings, giving up only one run. He wasn't that sharp, but he did have this pretty curveball, this nasty cutter, this sweeper that broke 19 inches, and this splitter that broke an amazing 26 inches. Look at that thing go. I know it was a ball, but that baseball looked like it had some place it would rather be. Absolutely ridiculous movement. Zach Gallen had this change up in fastball, and this K on Machado fixing his batting gloves for the K lying on its back. Seriously, this is a type of stuff that the pitch clock is designed to stop. Taking your sweet time fixing your batting gloves between pitches, tens of thousands of people don't come to watch that. Nor do they come to watch an ump show. But don't tell Ron Culpa. He ejected me. And somebody's been and then ejected. Later told the Diamondbacks like bench in a separate incident that he runs this show. At least we now have the answer to Rihanna's question. Domingo Herman had this nasty changeup in curveball. He had eight Ks, but did give up four runs. He was outdueled by Matt Strom, who had three Ks in four innings, giving up no runs and only one hit, and had this nasty slider. Nick Pavetta had these beautiful curveballs and had six Ks in five innings. Max Scherzer had this filthy slider and had three Ks, but he did give up five earned runs in five and a third innings and was outdueled by Wade Miley, who pitched six scoreless and had this nasty changeup. Hayden Wesneski had these sweepers and this elevated 96 mile an hour heater. He didn't have his best outing, but he did have four Ks in four and two thirds innings, and dude has a very high ceiling. Expect him to have some big games this season. Julio Rios had six Ks in six scoreless innings, giving up five hits. He had this absolutely painted fastball and this nasty cutter. Kyle Gibson had this sweeper for a sword. He had five strikeouts. Dylan Dodd made his major league debut and had this nasty slider and changeup. He had three strikeouts in five innings, giving up only one run. A heck of a debut for Dylan. And if that's not all, Michael Soroka pitched yesterday in the minor leagues and looked pretty nasty. Hopefully, he'll be back on a major league field soon. But admittedly, I've been saying that for a little while. Shane Bieber had seven strikeouts in six innings thanks to his cutter, slider, and knuckle curves. Yusei Kikuchi had this fastball and slider and got absolutely fired up. I love this. He went five innings with two strikeouts, gave up only three hits, and one run. Framber Valdez looked his nasty self. He had his filthy curveball working as well as his changeup and two seamers. He gave up two earned runs in seven innings with nine strikeouts. He was up against Matt Manning, who pitched really well himself, giving up two runs in five and two-thirds innings thanks to these fastballs and this painted fastball. Luis Castillo had six strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, giving up only two hits. Had this sick changeup, blew 95 right by Trout, and had this K with his trademark fist pump. The most amazing thing Castillo did this game was this no-look snag. Check out this play. Unbelievable. And from the look on Castillo's face, he couldn't believe it either. The best pitching matchup of the day was Kenta Maeda versus Sandy Alcantara. Maeda was brilliant with nine strikeouts, giving up only one run in five innings. He had these wicked sliders at a 63% whiff rate on his slider this game. His splitter ran up to 19 inches, and his fastball was very effective. And check out this overlay of his slider and his fastball, and you can see why both those pitches were effective. Look how much ground those pitches take up. And as a hitter, you have to protect against both of those. But the pitcher of the day was Sandy Alcantara. Sandy's not only the defending Cy Young Award winner, but he's a defending Pitching Ninja Pitcher of the Year. He's got absolutely disgusting stuff. Look at this 91 mile an hour changeup that broke 21 inches. And to show you what makes Sandy so tough to hit, here's an overlay of his 98 mile an hour fastball with a 93 mile an hour slider. 
you can see how those pitches look the same, but that slider veers out of the bat path. So with Sandy's changeup, his slider, his four-seam fastball, and his sinker, all of which he throws about equally, hitting is just one big guess. Sandy threw a complete game in 100 pitches in under two hours. Yep, one hour and 57 minutes. He's like a modern-day version of Greg Maddox, except he throws about 10 miles an hour harder. As many of you don't know, I was actually featured in Sandy Alcantara's Cy Young Award video, as was Pablo Lopez wearing a Pitching Ninja shirt. And I love this from the video of Sandy discussing yeah, why he holds his glove the way he does as he walks off the field. Break out some tissues. We're all Sandy Alcantara fans. <laughs> Now one of my filthiest relievers, Brent Honeywell had this real-life screwball. Yep, Honeywell is one of the few pitchers in baseball who throws an actual screwball. CNL Perez had this rising fastball and this slider that was kind of out of the zone, but we'll take it. David Bednar had this filthy splitter. Jose Alvarado absolutely annihilated the side with these vicious cutters. This is why he's earned my nickname, El Diablo. But my reliever of the night was Araldis Chapman. Check out this heat. 103, 104, and 103 miles an hour. And that last 103 mile an hour fastball had 11 inches of run on it. Looks like Chapman has found the fountain of youth. And now, my pitching ninja moment of zen. This PFP looks a lot more like football than baseball. I would not want to be run over by Araldis Chapman. And goes to cover, and oh, then he runs over goodness. first base umpire Vic Carapazza. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to start out with Shane McClanahan for six Ks or more, then take Shohei Otani for eight Ks or more, and top it off with Garrett Cole for nine Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be?